how you're standing, but yes. who you're standing for. Yes. Are y'all with me right now? Yes. And what he's saying is, if you're going to shine, recognize that without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. Yeah. Huh? That's what we have to remind our children. Yeah. Living in a perverse and crooked nation. Yeah. And listen, if they're not getting those foundations from the home, it's where they ought to get it from yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? That's where it all comes from yeah. first. But just in case the home is wobbling and shaking, amen, with repetition, then yeah. the church Y'all praying with me. Can step in, and amen, by God's divine design and help elevate, amen, and bring balance to that life. Are y'all with me here? So many of our young people are out of balance today. Are y'all praying with me there? Too many, too many things in the world grab their attention. And listen, I learned, and we ought to be Echoing this to them, it doesn't matter how many tattoos you get. It, it, it doesn't matter how many uh, uh, surgical changes you try to go through. Read between the lines on that. It, it doesn't really matter about all of that. The fact of the matter is, here in the Word, the Lord has already prescribed a sure prescription for you to advance, for you to grow and mature, for you to shine. Are y'all with me here? The other side of that is we, we push our children to achieve more in many instances that they're capable of achieving. I wish I had a praying here. Listen to me now. What happens, we push them to achievement and in achievement, they look for identity. Huh? Huh? And in many instances, if they fail to achieve, they conclude they have no identity. Amen. Which, which brings about a high suicidal culture that we live in, especially from our young people. Are y'all praying with me here? So we have to learn to teach them that they have value and significance even if they don't make the highest achievement in life. We was at Aaron's uh, and Avery's uh, graduation celebration. And I don't know if y'all heard it. She said something that stuck with me. She said, I know who I am. Y'all don't hear me now. She said, I know who I am in God, regardless of what is said or I did not achieve up until now. I find my identity in the Lord Jesus Christ. That stuck with me, Miss Young. That stuck with me. That let me know that young lady, she's on the right foundation. Because y'all know like I know, in yes. achievement, every, every now and then along the way, you're bound to fail. Yes. Yes. I got a witness here. Yes. But failing is all right. It's all right. Huh? Yes. It's all right. Yes. It's so long that you don't wallow in your failure. Yes. Yeah, we all fall down. Yes. But we get up. Yes. Shake ourselves off. Yes. Tell the Lord, thank you. Just one more time. Have I got company in there? Oh, the we know, we know this morning that we didn't achieve everything we set out to. Then many times we failed, we had to back up, go and start again. That's all right. Huh? That's all right. Yeah. I, I, listen, I'm just glad that I, I'm just glad that I didn't, amen, make the mistake of not marching when I was supposed to march. I'm the, I'm the eldest of five, and it was on me to be the first one to graduate high school. And if I had jacked that up, y'all don't hear me anymore. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The only one, the first one to graduate high school, and the only one to graduate college. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Not come, Lord, your summa cum laude. 
Get hold of him. Get hold of him. I'm about through here. Huh? I didn't have no gold around my neck. Just, just dancing my little dance. I'm coming from the stage now. Who would have thunk it? Found it in high school. But I don't say that just to, amen, glory in that, but just to remind you, ain't no secret to what the Lord can do. What he's done for others. He can do the same thing for you. It's never too late to start again. Have I got a witness here? Never too late to start where you stop. Some of our young people need to know that life yeah, is challenging. You get tough along the way. Amen. We need to teach them responsibility. But something they have the day we didn't have. Am I right? In fact, they got more now than we ever had. Amen. And they still not satisfied. How much is enough? Just a little bit more. Are y'all with me here? So we need to teach them to learn to be content. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Learn how to be satisfied yeah. with what you have. Yeah. Yeah. I think about the life of Jesus, and I'm closing yeah. in a minute. Jesus, yeah, when I think about his life, the word says that the, the bird of the nest, the bird of the air have nests. Foxes have holes. But the Son of Man have nowhere. To lay his head. Now, when I think about that verse, if I got somewhere to lay my head, if I got a pillar to lay on, if I got a roof over my head, I'm doing a whole lot better than my Savior was doing. Man. And you mean to tell me I don't have room and rhyme and reason enough to tell the Lord? Thank you. I haven't got any witnesses here. Amen. Amen. You complain and about you own, you're not sleeping on a ceiling, Pastor Peter. <laughs> mm. Well, that's better than sleeping on slacks. Yeah. Somebody don't know what I'm talking about. Amen. I'm an old school on some of y'all. I'm going slacks off on the bed. Amen. Huh? Yeah, the metal, metal bed, the lion roll away bed. Amen. Huh? Amen. Roll it away. You fold it up and roll it away. <laughs> huh? Many, many, many of our children don't recognize how good they have. They're kind of rough around the edges. But the word says in the perverse and crooked generation, perverse nation, among whom ye shine, as lights in the world. I said I was going to close. I got to close. <laughs> to shine as lights in the world. Yeah. In other words, you got to shine on in the yes, yeah. yeah. Why? Because God has put the light within us. And so you just got to let it shine in the hand. Like, like Rihanna's little video a few years ago, shine bright like a diamond. Right. <laughs> Tell me something about it. And you know, there's something interesting about a diamond is yeah, yeah. it's cut from a rock. Yeah. Help me somebody. Yeah. But what makes it valuable is the cut that comes from it. Yeah. And once it's cut right, yeah. Yeah. amen, and the brilliance said from the cut manifest itself in so many different dimensions that it becomes a, a thing of beauty. In other words, it, it, it dazzles like splendor. In other words, it blinds your eyes because of the cut that's been made upon it. And that's why at the at the at the engagement party they say they put a big rock on the face. Y'all ain't helping me. 
And that's literally true. Yeah. But that rock has been cut here. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been shined a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's been buffeted a little bit. Yeah. That the brilliancy of it might manifest yeah. itself. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all gonna help me right there. Yeah. Well, we got a lot of diamonds behind us. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And it's our job to help cut things. Yeah. It's our job to help mold them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's our job to help facilitate the brilliance that's in them. Yeah. So they can shine bright like a diamond. Have I got a witness here? Now I ain't talking about big T diamonds. I ain't talking about cubic zirconia. But I'm talking about real diamonds. Have I got company in here? When you start shining like a diamond, somebody I gonna be caught. Somebody gonna know when you come in the room. You ever seen them sisters come in and they know their diamond is working? How you doing? I mean, they don't normally wave way up here, but they got their hand way up here. But they want you to see the rock on their face. Right there. Well, ain't no harm in letting it shine. If you got it, amen. You just got it. It ain't bragging if you got it. But if you ain't have it, ain't no sense in your bragging. Man. But because the Lord is so good to us and so good to our offspring, it ain't no harm in letting them shine. Fire. No matter who you are, you are 